hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is bukumi bk crown hope you guys are feeling good hope you guys are boss like a newborn baby so guys i'm here with another one and the title of this video is this shocked me about germany at first um so this guy is going to be talking about his first experience when he got to germany for the very first time so this actually shocked him so what actually shocked him about germany let's figure it out in this video so let's watch What's up people? If you don't know me, my name is Nick Alfieri, aka Now. This is my YouTube channel. I'm an American living and playing American football in Germany. One thing about Germany that my opinion has changed on since I first got here is the German education system. So when I first got to Germany and was explained how the education system works, I was a little bit shocked and I thought it was kind of crazy and harsh. So the way that I understand it is that kids go to kindergarten at a young age and then they go to the primary school, Grundschule I think it's called, and then at around age like 10 or 11, the kids are split up into three different categories. They go to either Hauptschule, Realschule, or Gymnasium. And it's basically three different levels of schooling. And from age 10 or 11, these kids are sent on three different tracks. When I first heard this, I thought that this was insane. I thought, how are you going to determine a child's path and what kind of career they're going to have at such a young age? But as I talked to more people about this subject, I started to realize that I was kind of looking at it from this perspective because I grew up in America and in the United States, the attitude with schooling is basically go to college or bust. If you don't go to a university or four-year school, then you're just not going to make it in life. And when I first heard about the schooling system, it kind of felt to me like, all right, we're deciding that these kids are not going to ever go to college. These kids may go to college or they'll do some sort of apprenticeship. And these are the kids at age 11, these are the kids that are going to go on and go to university to study to be teachers or stuff like that. But after being in Germany now for a while, I've started to realize that there's such a value on skilled labor. Th things like being an electrician or a mechanic or a carpenter or whatever. And it's not just, oh, you need to go to university and you need to study and have this kind of job or you're not going to make it. Because that's kind of the attitude in the United States. It's kind of like if you, oh, you didn't go to college, ooh, ooh you're not, you're going to struggle. Um, but that's just not the case. And it's not even the case in the United States because you can make a great living not going to college and picking up one of those trades or skilled labor positions. And as I start to understand the German system more and more, I think that it's pretty cool and pretty effective. On the surface, it still kind of seems a little bit harsh to divide kids up into three categories at such a young age, but I've learned that actually the parents can decide which track they want their child to go down and you can also change tracks at certain points and so you're not just locked into this system from age 10 or 11 or, or whatever it is. I think it's really good to put value on a track that say is you know going to school until age 15 and then getting an apprenticeship to learn a skill or a trade and then going into that field and starting to work there. That's just as valuable as somebody going on the say gymnasium track and then going to university and studying and becoming a teacher or something like that. And so the more that I start to understand the system the better that I think it is. I also find it really interesting when talking to some of my German friends um, that when they pick a course of study that they are studying to become that. Like if, you're, mm. if you pick to study education or whatever it is, if you're studying to become a teacher and you know that you're going to be a history teacher or a sports teacher or whatever it is. And some of my German friends are shocked when they hear that people in the U.S. will study something and they'll never use it or they won't go into that field. So it's like a lot of people will go to college just to go to college, even if it's not necessarily the most practical thing because in the States, it is just what you're supposed to do. And I don't think we put as much value on some of those other tracks that are really, really important also. So those are my thoughts on that subject. I want to do a video on this because my opinion on this subject has changed. Like I said, when I first got to Germany, I thought that was crazy. And now I understand it more and I actually think it's really, really cool and practical. Okay? Let me know your thoughts. I hope that I didn't totally butcher the explanation of the German education system. I think I understand it decently. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on the subject also. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. And I will see you next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Germany, they've you know, value skilled labor compared to USA. And that really came to him as a shock. Compared to USA, whereas as a, you know, 
as a university graduate, they believe that you should have a better job. Like for you to graduate from such university, they don't expect you to be involved in skilled labor. They expect you to become like teacher, you know, engineer based on what you study and everything. So they kind of give you that kind of look or that kind of, they have that kind of mindset when you don't actually you know, work on what you studied in the university but he said in germany there it's not like that and the educational there is quite okay it's quite affordable and it's cool and you know you go into a country for the first time and you know how the educational system is in your country and you move to another country you have a shock you understand like the way um i'm a nigerian i schooled here in ghana there's some things that actually shocked me when i actually you know study here so that's what he also felt you know that's what he has to say about the old educational system yeah it's really nice like hmm, at least i learned something from this too guys so guys that's all i have for in this particular video don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one bye